James Triantos currently looks like the MVP of the Arizona Fall League. Let's discuss on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5 on Saturday, October 28th. I am Frank Stanfield, joined by Chris the Welsh. One name that I keep waiting to slow down, it hasn't happened yet. James Triantos, a 20-year-old infield prospect with the Chicago Cubs, is crushing the Arizona Fall League. At time of recording this, he is batting 436 with two homers, three doubles, five triples, seven steals, a 1304 OPS. He is doing it all. Welsh, what have you seen from James Triantos? Are you buying it from a dynasty perspective? I'm buying a decent amount of it, amount of it. I don't want to go overboard and be like, oh, James Triantos is the next, you know, Royce Lewis because of this, that, and the other thing. But here's what I love is I've loved his confidence. I love his approach. Bat is in the zone at all times. Like he's not fooled. He's making the right decision. He has almost as many walks as strikeouts out here. He is near the top of the leaderboard. I think he's like third in hits and he's tied for second actually in hits in the AFL leads in OPS, most triples out there. He's been an absolute monster. And I think he's putting himself in a really good position to either be one of two things a great fantasy buy for people that are not paying attention right now, or if the hype goes too crazy, a fantasy sell. Because I, I think he sits in this general middle space. He actually did an interview a couple days ago where he said he likens himself to Luis Arise. So that tells you a guy that is very, very concerned about approach, about making contact and getting on base. He seems to steal more bases than Arise. A little bit more on the power projections, lots of triples out there. I think there's plenty to be excited about with Triantos, but it does need to be kind of like brought down just a tiny bit if you're talking about him as like a top 25 or 50 overall player. These next two players are ones that you personally texted me about, ones that you saw and you're pretty excited about. The Mets have a 23-year-old first base prospect, JT Schwartz, who was actually named the AFL Hitter of the Week last week. Uh, for week three of their action. He's played 12 games, 319 batting average, two homers, six doubles, a 927 OPS. What have you seen from JT Schwartz? Yeah, he's kind of a bigger, lengthier, more classic-looking first baseman. Got a really easy swing. He's got two homers, but he leads his game uh, Glendale Desert Dog team in slugging. And why that's important is this team also has Colson Montgomery, who's a top prospect, and Kevin Parada, who is another bigger top prospect with the Mets. He's got a higher slugging than them. He's got a better batting average than both. He's got more RBI. Uh, or actually, Colson Montgomery has two more RBI, but he's in that same general vicinity, not striking out a bunch, just real easy power. I don't think this is a huge name, but for you deeper league people, I pay a tiny bit of attention to JT Schwartz because he definitely has a feel. This like 25 plus home run guy who at least can hit 250. And he is shining one of the best players on the Glendale team out here in the AFL. All right, let's talk about a pitcher, Emiliano Teodo, who is a 22 year old flamethrower in the Texas Rangers organization. He has thrown seven shutout innings out there in the Arizona Fall League. One hit, one walk, 14 strikeouts. You told me a fastball that gets up to 102 miles per hour. Does struggle a little bit with the control, which is what we've seen in the minor league numbers. But you told me this could be a closer of the future type. What have you seen in Teodo? Yeah, he was starting, and I completely agree just overall. Like, guys that can throw like this, and if there is a trust that they can go deeper into games, you want to commit to them as a starting pitcher. And that's what they've done. We saw the same thing with Aroldis Chapman, but we're watching the video here that people can check out. He commands 99 easy with some decent movement, and he has this great mid 80s 85 mile an hour slider that he just threw for strikes in this outing that i saw every time the one pitch that got away from him was when he hit 102 on the radar so could he be a starter sure it's possible but this is a guy that looks primary two pitch pitcher is shining in one outing and that screams screams closer people have a really hard time hitters have a hard time being able to figure out what's coming Nassim Nunez who was the futures game MVP is here at bat and he just took a 99 mile an hour fastball right there for a strike and that's the type of guy that he is so I think if you like to invest in dynasty closers this is somebody that is probably wildly available out there if he worked out as a starting pitcher that's awesome but I think you know in the next coming few two years two three years or so this is a guy that could be at the back end of a Rangers bullpen who are in the world series hopefully losing 
Yeah. Emiliano Toyota is the name there again with the Texas Rangers. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we'll be back again next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.